everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Now today I'm gonna to be comparing the Ninja Foodi 10-in-1 XL air fry oven to the Ninja Foodi digital air fry oven. And I've had this for 30 days and I've had this one for two years. I'm gonna let you guys know my full opinions on them and which one I think is better overall. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So the first difference between both of these products is the price. Now this one being a larger unit is more expensive. The price for the XL here is 279.99 Canadian and it currently goes for 229.99 American. While the smaller Ninja currently goes for 199.99 Canadian and it currently goes for 149.99 American. So I will say both of these come out in a variety of different versions. I have the versions I have on screen for you guys, and I have the regular ones, not the smart. The smart comes with the digital thermometer that you can plug in to get your food temperatures. I did not get that. It's an extra $100 here in Canada, so I'd rather just buy like an external thermometer probe and do that for my food. Now I have the full dimensions on screen for you for both of these models. So I can fit like longer and wider pans into here. If you do have this unit and you're going to this one, unfortunately the containers are not cross compatible. So for this unit here, we do have four different levels, a fan in the back, and there are heating components on the bottom and on the top. And coming over to this one, there is no fan. There are heating components on the bottom and on the top. We also have an opening handle at the side here where this one is at the top. Another thing about this unit here is that we can flip it up. And that is fantastic for, you know, storage, space saving. This one is huge. Another difference between these units is what you can cook in them and the features that they do have. So starting off on this one over here, we have an air fry, air roast, air broil, dehydrate, keep warm, reheat, bagel, bake, and toast. And this one comes with 10 different functions here. So we have air fry, air roast, broil, dehydrate, pizza, reheat, bagel, bake, toast, and whole roast. So I bought these air fryers basically to use as my primary oven where I do primarily all of my cooking. I either use this or the microwave or stovetop. I do not use our shared oven because it's a convection oven. So I have celiac disease, I can't have any gluten. So with all the spinning that goes around in our shared oven, I can't use that. It will make me sick if I get cross contamination. So that's why I have been using these guys for all of my food preparation needs. Now, when it comes to toasting toast, both of these do a great job. Now, primarily I like my toast a little bit lighter. I usually do level three or level four. You guys can see some examples on screen from the XL and from the smaller Ninja as well. And both slices seem to be the exact same like doneness here. Both of them do a great job toasting and I have not really seen any differences there. Now, when it comes to the bagel function, other function that I use, having a bagel function over just toasting is great because you get a bagel that is a nice, and soft on the top and crunchy on the bottom and it's not overdone. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So another difference between both of these is the sound. The XL 10 in one here is super loud. You were gonna notice this. Here is what it sounds like. And comparing this to the Ninja Digital Air Fryer, it's very minimal noise. It's like in the background, like white noise. And I find the air fry function and the air roast are the loudest and you guys can hear. One other thing I make in these all the time is fries. I love myself some air fry fries because it's a lot healthier. I have fried up some fries in both of these and I will say that one area that this XL takes advantage is the cook on the fries. I find the cook on the fries more even and I also find them crispier. And they both turned out really tasty but I would definitely prefer the fries being crispier on the XL here. with me some cheese curds and I have made some gravy and I have made myself a nice poutine you know as a Canadian it's an awesome dish and one of my favorite things to make with the air fryer So 
So I did cook the fries at 425 for 16 minutes in both. And I will say definitely we had a more even cook and crispier fries in the XL. One thing I like about the XL here is that it's a lot easier to adjust when you're using it. If you need an extra minute or putting up or down the temperature, it's super easy to just click a button, you know, up or down. Whereas on this one, you do have to kind of like pause this and then you have to press on these buttons in order to do the same thing. So I do like that they made that process easier. My biggest thing with this unit and why I prompted buying this one was the size because I wanted to be able to bake things that were taller. There's a lot of times when I wanted to like bake a cake, for example, but it just wouldn't fit in here because it was too short. Now, in terms of the depth of this, it's great because I'm able to fit really long pans in there. So I have this pizza pan here. Now this fits in here, no problem. Slides in there, closes, fantastic. And there's still a bit more room, like it could go back even further. Now if I try to do that here, you guys could see it's hanging out. It's a lot shorter. That's something I don't love because some pans like this one, I can't use in this oven. And for me, I like to make pizzas from scratch. And the soft dough you make from scratch, you obviously need to put it on a pan. You can't just throw it on the rack. For frozen pizzas, no issues. They fit in here, but it is an issue for me because I'm gonna have to buy a new pan, which is really annoying. So I like this one for being able to make cake. I can make two layers at once. So I have this cake pan here, which is, I think it's a nine by nine circular cake pan. And it is quite tall. I'm able to put it in here with no issues, ton of room to spare. And I could put an exact same cake pan if I'm doing a two layer cake in the bottom. It can fit in there, but it's so close to the top that there's not really much room for circulation. And when I tried to bake it, it did not turn out well. I do like to bake donuts as well, because once again, air frying it, healthier than dumping it in some oil. So I have this donut pan and it fits in here just great. Also fits in this unit fantastically. And I've made donuts in that air fryer many times and they turned out great. So one thing I do want to talk about is like cleaning. Both of these suck to clean. They are not easy to clean. This one, I was cleaning it daily, first probably two months. And then being very much a human, I decided to give up on that because it was a hassle. So then I started cleaning it like every other week. And even doing that, it's ended up like this. You can see that there's like buildup of food and stuff and grease on the tops and on the inside. So this I imagine is going to get just as bad. And I will say one thing where I've noticed is this, which I have cleaned after every single use, even doing that, it has burnt on food everywhere and it's just impossible. Like it's so hard to clean. Same with this, the pan. I've cleaned it after every use and it still has burnt on stuff that I just can't get off. So I am not super hopeful for this. I think it's going to end up just the same condition as this one. And I see the same thing happening with this. I know it's going to get bad over time. So I'm not super happy with Ninja's non-stick equipment because they really are not non-stick. This one, you have, you know, your fan up in there, so you can't really drench that in water and expect it to be okay. You could take out the crumb tray for sure. It's just not as easy to clean overall. This one is definitely easier to clean because you are able to like open it up completely. Not only can you take out the crumb tray, but you can open it up completely and you could flip this down and you could go ahead and scrub this down completely, scrub this down if you really wanted to. So this is definitely easier to clean. Another thing I've noticed about this unit is that it does take longer to preheat. Typically this will preheat in 60 seconds or less. This one takes about 90 seconds. Uh, not a huge deal, they're both really quick, but that's something I did want to mention. So here I have both of these on my counter just to show you the size difference. <laughs> this thing is massive. It's kind of like a little microwave in a way, like very, very big. This is definitely a little bit shorter, sleeker. And once I flip it up, it's really out of the way. We're here, this protrudes out so much more. So this one's really space saving. And both units do have venting kind of on the sides here. And they do get hot on the top um, and stuff when you're cooking. So something to keep in mind, don't place items on top of here. They can end up melting if they're like plastic or like a cutting board or something. Keep in mind, if you do have long counters, you're gonna have this hitting your counter. That is an issue for me on my counter. When you're opening it, it really has to be really to the front of the counter. So this is where I usually have it on my counter. And with the position of my counter being like an L, when I do open it, it hits the counter so it doesn't like close completely 
So I definitely would have liked if they had a handle off to the side so it could open flush to the counter just like the smaller Ninja does. You guys can see that this light is kind of dimmer, but you can see a lot more in here. Or this one's brighter, but you can't see as much in here. One thing I like about this new one here is as soon as you open it, the light turns on. I find that so handy because with the other one, I have to kind of fiddle with turning on the light to check my food. So I think that's a really handy new feature. And both of them do have the light turn on within the last 30 seconds of cooking, just so you can kind of see your food without having to do that, which is really nice as well. Cons for me on this unit are the price. The price I think is a bit too high. The other con for me is that the noise, it's very loud. It's also very big. And I find that the unit is just a bit too short and a bit too narrow and it doesn't fit all my pants. So for this one here, one con for me is that it's a bit too short. So with that, I'm not able to fit in tall pans. And also when I am toasting and baking something, I have to be careful not to burn myself because it's a very small opening. This one does have a larger opening, so that's not really an issue. If I put something here, a lot of room. This one, not so much. I find the front cooks faster than the bottom, so I do have to rotate my pan. In the other unit right here, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do any rotating, so that's something I do like. It's a more even cook. Now, when it comes to which one is best for you, well, that depends on a couple of factors. Are you someone who you're cooking for maybe yourself or maybe just one or two people? You're someone who's worried about counter space. You want to have a unit that could flip up and out of the way when you're prepping food or just storing it in general and you're looking for something more affordable, then I would definitely recommend the Ninja Digital Air Fry Oven. Nine in one, you know, that I have here. The eight in one unit is also great. You're just missing, you know, one of those functions. Otherwise, the exact same. However, if you're someone who maybe you're cooking for a family of three or four, or you are an individual who wants the meal prep, you wanna make a bunch of things at once. Maybe you're even just cooking for two and you wanna be able to make two things at once, like have fries going, have a pizza going, whatever you wanna do. If you're looking to also bake more, maybe you're someone who wants to make cakes like I do and you can take advantage of having two layers at once and you're someone who you have the counter space to accommodate a larger unit, then I would definitely recommend the Ninja XL Pro Air Fryer Oven. So for me, thinking about upgrading from this one to this one, I decided that I am gonna upgrade. I have enjoyed a lot of the features of this. I have found myself using this one so much more in the last 30 days. So this is the one that I do prefer, but I think that this is a fantastic unit. And like I said, I've had it for two years. It's holding up great. I hope this video did help you decide which one you wanted to get. For me, I know when I wanted to get this unit, I was looking for a comparison and I couldn't find anything anywhere of anyone comparing these two units talking about them at the same time so i hope this video is helpful for you guys whether you are deciding on upgrading or whether you're deciding on getting this unit or this unit so if you guys are looking to pick up either of these today i've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use and if there's anything i missed today that you want to know just go ahead and drop a comment below i do read all the comments so i'll definitely get back to you and that's all i have for today thanks for watching and make sure to like comment and subscribe bye